after we have our gene expression table, now we want to compare different samples or groups of samples in our data set. To do that, we can first transform the raw data into logarithmic scale and then use quantile normalization, a technique that converts everything into a normalized scale based on standard deviation units and aligning the mean between samples so that we can better detect differences between samples and adjust for any kind of technical variation that is due to different lab preparation kits and even the different sequencer settings when the sequencing is being done. Let's see how to do this practically on the platform. We have to go to Utilities, and under Utilities, we can just upload our gene expression table. Once we upload the gene expression table, we can click on Continue, Start, and you will find Quantile Normalization right here. Since we want to adjust the distributions, we will be aligning the means and making everything more comparable in standard deviation units. You can read more about quantile normalization in this link. Before doing quantile normalization, we can transform the table to logarithmic scale. And we don't want to normalize everything, and we also want to set a threshold so that we will normalize all the values under the threshold of 5 in logarithm scale units. To check whether we're getting a good result, we can also use PCA to visualize how variance shows the different samples in the data set. Make sure that you carefully look at the settings on the side because you don't want to transform the values again to normal logarithmic scale and of course no filtering and some of these other parameters are not going to be relevant to what we are doing. Now that our pipeline is done, let's take a look at the results. You will get the zip file with all of the results, the results for PCA, and also your normalized table.